Hey everyone, Ken Rigasaki here. We're back with another video. Um, this video is actually um, a bit different in the sense it's more of like a how-to, which I don't really do. I never really plan on doing a how-to. But considering how big and vast this issue is with the Mi Air Automata port on PC, um, I would say yeah, it's kind of needed, so I can at least help out a few people out there if they just happen to stumble across it. Um, if you aren't aware, if you are an NVIDIA user, and I've have I have heard that some NVIDIA users are having this issue as well. Um, if after playing the game for like about five minutes, for whatever reason, it will cause a system failure and it will basically give the game a white screen and you cannot play it. Now this was an issue for me at the beginning. Now for some people, um, the only fix still doesn't seem to work for some reason, which if that is happening to you, then oh god I am terribly sorry. Um, personally I do think that a patch should come out pretty quickly because I was on the brink of refunding this game and I was really hyped for this game. And rightfully so, because it is an amazing game. But, anyways, um... I'm just going to quickly show you exactly how it is that you fix this issue and the whole white screen issue. Um, you know, playing for a few minutes with the RX 480 or the RX 400 series, you know, white screen, that's annoying, you don't want that. The fact that it's even happening to begin with is pretty stupid, and I don't know what Platinum was doing when they were testing it, but whatever. Um, I think the real importance of everything is just going step by step. So the first thing you want to do is, is you want to uninstall the AMD service manager from your control panel or using the Windows uninstall feature. Uh, just uninstall that and go to AMD's website or Google AMD 16.11.5 and download that after you deleted the service manager and then reboot your PC and I believe that should fix everything. Um, I have not really encountered any issues playing the game after that. I um, mean of course there are a few issues you know. Uh, it's not true 1080p unless you're in a windowed mode. Uh, a lot of people are using a borderless windowed app to be able to play in the true 1080p or a true 4K or 1440, whatever filter. But I don't really care as long as I can play the game. I've had a potato for about two years now, so as as I as long as I can play it, I think I'm good. But yeah, um. After you uninstall the AMD Service Manager and you reinstall the 16.11.5 and you reboot your PC, um, one way you could check if you do have it installed if you don't know how to is um, MSI Afterburner. I will leave a link to that in the downloads. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone has it, but if you don't, get it. And when you install it, it'll basically tell you at the bottom where it says driver version. Um, yeah, this is the driver version you're using, and it'll say 17.3 or 16 point whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Name's Ken Rigasaki. I'm out.